Oh. <laughs> oh, there he is. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I've been trying to... Oh, there goes the other one. I've been trying to catch that bird, or those two birds, for a long time. Every morning, they just they just fly up there, do something, and then fly away. And I always try to get my phone out and get it, but since it's early, I'm usually just like... And then I look, and then I'm like, oh, let me grab my phone, and then I just... <laughs> I'm just too late because I'm tired, but today I'm awake because we have some stuff to do. Right, Henry? Yeah, up and at him. Good yawn. And Ava, good yawn. Ah, that's not exactly a yawn. He must not be tired, huh, buddy? And Buddy, of course. Now, speaking of the dogs, we are getting a lot of questions. We have gotten the question multiple times, what happened to Duke since we have his his doghouse. He's fine. We just use his doghouse because he never used it. But our dogs don't use them either, which is which is ironic. <laughs> so we now have an empty doghouse that. Uh, it's just decor now. But Duke is fine, Henry is fine, Ava is fine, and Buddy is fine. They're all getting along quite well, which is good. So that's the dog update. Uh, the update for me, with my head, uh, still have no idea. So that's a bummer, but uh, it could be worse, I suppose. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It's frustrating. But you know what isn't frustrating? Um, I am heading out to see Alex at his new uh, uh, hoarder house, I guess. The cleanest hoarder house I've ever seen on video. Uh, he said that he would like me to come by and see if I would like any of the stuff that he isn't necessarily going to sell. Just got back from lunch and wait a minute, I recognize that truck. I recognize that guy. It's Josh. Hey. How's it going? Oh, you got another new truck. Actually, I saw you get this. Yeah, I pulled but it out of my new I was not expecting that. What? Hey, Patrick. How's it going? Holy shit. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Another house, eh? It's not as bad as it was. Pat and I have been here all week. Oh yeah? Yeah. This cool. is two of these. No, this is more than this, two. This, this is, is the third. This is the third. Yeah. Is that we filled two. And they had filled four before I got here. Oh. Okay. Like my crappy truck. Yeah. I like your did you get rid of the Ford truck now? No. Okay. No, I'm waiting for the my radiator to get fixed in it. When we drove oh. the Ford out here the first time it overheated and my rad was like spewing all over oh, the place. Yeah. Okay. But this so. is actually been good because it's, been it's got the good. covered uh, oh yeah the canopy canopy the stuff i had i was thinking for you is probably in the back yeah okay uh, okay so we've been emptying like crazy so it's not actually as terrible as it was it didn't even look terrible from mm -hmm. your well, video already taken four dumpster loads out of here oh okay so they've got to come back for another load of furniture they've taken two truckloads of furniture out of here already this even looks huge compared to what it was. Yeah. Because there was so much. This is my keeper stuff so far. Oh yeah. And this is keeper stuff in this room. For the most part. And then this is keeper stuff in here, which I've got to sort or okay. figure out what's going to charity. And so sure. Pat and I have been trying to do runs to Red Deer to drop stuff off at charity. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I'll show you the, uh, the garage out back. More DVDs? More DVDs. There are a ton of DVDs all over. Seymour and Shane playing with fire. Kelly the co-ed, that doesn't sound like somebody I should send over. Should especially not donate the Sperminator. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh, there's some puns in there somewhere. Anyway, that's all gonna be trash. I'm debating whether I should 
it's all this stuff. It's all like brand new in the box. I may as well. Christmas is coming. Yeah. I said, see if you can talk to Dan and get it uh, put in a little early and go at auction. Yeah. It's that, it's that time of year. But if you have to wait till December, then that's going to be too late. Yeah. There are hundreds of complete sets of like antique dishes and cups and stuff like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But let's go back. Okay. Is the front door closed, Pat? No. Okay, you may as well close it while we're doing this. Okay. I'm feeling it after this week. Yeah? I'm tired. Well, you do it pretty gung ho, yeah. usually, anyway. Oh, yeah, you should have seen how much stuff we've taken out already. And it's still all this. So, those metal shelves can go if you want them. Okay. Those work shelves. Uh, two there. I don't know. I haven't even done inventory on any of this stuff. You need a uh, sump pump? Uh, I don't. But watch, I'll need one now. Oh, there's a compressor. I didn't even know that was it. Oh, yeah. And a power washer. Oh, yeah. Dressers. A little bandsaw. Oh, they made the pulley out of... Uh, uh, out of wood. Out of wood, yeah. Out of fur, it looks like. That's kind of weird. Yeah. yeah. It must have broken or something. Cause that's a planer over there? Okay. That is a planer, yeah. It's hard to say if it's good or not. Yeah, it's a Canadian tire special. I'm just going to use a washroom all the way back. Okay. For a second, I thought this was uh, one of those uh, phone booths. Oh. Just out of the corner of my eye, and then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That's not even close. Oh, okay. Perfect. <laughs> Would you agree that... Uh, this house seems more like a storage space rather than a warehouse. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of like it's a uh, really box and organized, but it was just full. Oh, there's just so much. Yeah. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a shredder. Oh. oh it's like attached to this table. Can probably refinish it and then stuck something on it. La donna è mobile, qual piuma il vento, muta d'accento e di pensiero. Let's see. Hey guys, are we getting the shelf dismantled? Well, I'm trying to figure out. It, they just hammer apart. Yeah, They're I, super I didn't easy. I mean to pull it apart. I just. I did by accident, so I'm actually trying to figure out how it goes back together. Oh, it just slides in and then it gets hammered down. There we go. Yeah. There but they'll take up less room in your truck if they're apart, though. Yeah. But I saw these and I thought they looked like good Josh shelves for putting stuff on. Yeah, absolutely. I'll probably uh, go on the art trunk. And I don't know. I mean, geez, I haven't even gotten back to a lot of this stuff. We haven't really even been out here yet, hey, Patrick? No. No one even focused on Is there stuff in these boxes? It's a TV. Oh my gosh. Well, you know where that can go. <laughs> Some nice turn spindle legs up in the rafters. I thought that was a, the world's biggest mop, but it's an um, umbrella. <laughs> okay, so there's one. Did you want to pull your truck around back? Yeah, I think I'm going to. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know what kind of stuff you're looking for right now, Josh. Well... Me neither, because I just, <laughs> I just wait till it shows up. Oh, that's how I live my life, too. I feel like that's an easy way to live life, you know? Yeah, this garage is going to be a whole other thing. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, they they exactly come apart. I, do with the first I didn't one. want to lose this. Oh. Uh, so that hit my floor? Okay. Well, I'm going to start doing a little cleanup in here. You, you guys keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to go take care of some stuff that will not have a home. They seem very uh, 
wobbly, honestly. Yeah. I think I'll reinforce them if I when I set them up. Yeah. Well, if you have them against the wall, we can always yeah anchor the wall. Anchor it. Yeah, that's how it fell. Perfect. I had another one. Yeah, I don't know where that one came from. <laughs> this one just popped out. So let's. Um, just for safety, so let's take the top off. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Oh yeah, that's. It wasn't as wobbly, but look at this. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll just take them apart, just because I'm thinking going down the road like this, two hours home. I might not like what uh, the outcome is. I'm taking them apart. That's probably the safer bet. And when I put them back together, I can just make them so they stay together and they aren't so wobbly. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's take them apart. There we go. There, by the last one, we got the hang of it. There you go. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure all that uh, I'll be picking up from this spot, but just having a quick look around, uh, around the garage, I think there'll be a few things uh, to bring home this trip. And that is what this trip is uh, all about. Where the heck is the alley entrance? Uh, it's getting some reclaimed wood, maybe. Those shelves are, are what he was mostly thinking of getting, giving to me, but uh, there's some wood up in the rafters. So we'll see. I just don't know where that alleyway is. Here it is. I think. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, so tricky thing. My tailgate can't come down, so we have to lift everything over. There's just the mechanism is broken on both sides, which is a bummer. Yeah. But uh, this is not hard to move anyway. Sure. I also saw in the bin you guys threw some lumber, right? Yeah, two by fours. Some long ones, so I'll take those out too. I imagine if he was throwing those out, then he'd probably want to just toss this or, or if not, I don't know. He just wanted the other ones out of the way because they were coming in for the furniture. Oh, yeah. So, all right, I should probably go see what he needs help. Okay. Take it. Thank you. There 
go. That's it for that lot. All perfectly good. Nicely seasoned too. Okay. Now I know there's another pile of them right there. So I will also grab all this. This is decently old. It's not old gross per se, but this is good lumber. It's been up here for a while. Not a bad start. Thank you, Alex. Let's go get, uh, oh, there's one more piece here. This is just a piece of finger jointed and glue lambed pine, but I can make something out of that. Let me just double check before I pull to the front and get this stuff out of the bin. Ah! Oh, dang it! This garage right in the ankle. Dang. <laughs> There's some plywood there. I wonder what the story with that is. Alex? I just need to know, oh, there you are, the last place I look, which makes sense, uh, there's a bunch of plywood behind the washer and dryer in there. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, go for it. Okay, just got to move a bunch of stuff. Okay, you go for it. should be able to slide them out of here now. I may have to move this. Yes. Whew. All right, got them all in. From there, and I think that's everything that I can see wood-wise from in here. There is some legs up there. That might be interesting. Hmm, maybe I'll take these down. Just in case, I can take these as well. These might be for a table that's uh, around here that he may want to sell, or he may want to just sell these by themselves, I don't know. Oh, there's some more. Uh, these ones, uh, they're pretty nice, I guess. I don't like them as much, but that's just because I can already see what kind of table I would make with this versus with these. But both are good, so I'll ask. Alex. Yeah. Table legs. Yeah. Were they for a table? You mean the one at the top of the thing? Yeah. Yeah, you can have them. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, my foot got stuck on the tread on my tire and I tried to jump over to here. That didn't work. Terrible transition. Anyways, I got the legs in there. Now, dropped you guys. Now, I made it onto the ledge though. 
Now we're going to take all these, what are they, 10, 12 footers? Why'd you throw these away, Alex? I guess they were in the way. What you up to, Josh? Just taking out this perfectly good lumber you threw away. Well, you know, I did contact you to come salvage stuff. I, I wasn't sure if you would take it, but I'm glad that you are. Yeah, I could definitely make use of this. Yeah, I came a little late. You contacted me like how long ago? Uh, I wasn't sure if you were gonna come. I was uh, kind of proceeding as though you weren't, but I'm-, I'm... I had a, a brain appointment. Oh. I had a doctor's appointment. Did I'm they not... just grab your head with oven mitts and shake it all around? There, you're good for another month. At this point, maybe that would help. <laughs> I could do that later if you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back in and keep sorting. Perfect. There we go. And now I know that there's some more wood in here, which he showed me earlier. So wait there. Josh, you know the uh, one thing that you didn't see yet? Come on in. His arms aren't on him. Look. Oh yeah, dude, that's so <sighs> sick. Yeah, the uh, guys from the auction couldn't lift it. That is so cool. So this will be super fun. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, so you got uh, motorcycle chains and sprockets and it's, a, it's reclaimed art. Yeah, this is exactly what I do. I've never made anything like this, but uh, yeah, the closest to something like this that I've made is a full-sized uh, sheep for when the uh, Canadian Winter Games or whatever. Wait, it's you did called... that bison for red deer, didn't you? It was a it was a sheep. Oh, was it a sheep? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, because that was pretty big. Yeah. So his arms and his weapons are stuff are down there. Oh yeah, piled up Dude, in the corner. That is... Nasty, I love it. She paid 9,000 bucks for it. Yeah. <laughs> she paid 9,000 bucks. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. That is so cool. What are you going to do with it? Sell it. It's going to go to auction. Yeah. Like most everything else. Um, there was some more lumber piled up there. Josh, there's a whole stack of uh, two by or one by fours. Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. You can have that. Oh, thank you. If you can get them out of there. Yeah, absolutely. And I've been trying to sort all of this stuff. This was like my latest project sorted in here. And it's... I guess it's going okay. The fact I can walk around in here means it's going okay. It's still, it feels like it's just never ending. Ugh. Well, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna go load that other wood. Okay. Uh, the the wood that's in the rafters. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. I bought everything on site. What is this? That is a mystery trunk that I'm gonna go through on a future video. That's a perfectly good carpet. You can have it. You can jump in there and get it. Roll I'm just being a commenter. You can roll in there. Roll Don't tell me you're not going to save that bag of bags. Uh, I probably am saving the... No, not that one. But I am finding garbage bags when I'm using. Oh, why? What is this? Pictures. Oh, that's antique pictures. Whole bunch of one by. It's cleared a lot out of here. So I should be able to get those quite easily. Yeah, that's funny. He cleaned up a lot, but there's not really a path yet. <laughs> Beggars can't really be choosers. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot. I wonder what sort of plans I had with that. Although maybe there was... No plans, it's just that they knew it was good material. Hmm. Whatever the case, it's mine now, and it will be put to good use. There we 
go. Oh, geez, Patrick, those were valuable. Yeah, what the heck, man? Look up the farmer and the pig. Imagine you didn't, dude. You would have lost thousands of dollars. This is for donation, man. Oh. Well, there you go. Okay. So that's all of that. Hey, Josh, you need some tools? What's that? Do I need any tools? Yeah. Ah, oh, let's have a look. There's like a little bucket of them. A little bucket of tools. Yeah. Where? Oh, yeah. What the heck is this? A little electric screwdriver for sockets. Well, if you don't know, we're all lost. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was a wild Hans impersonation. <laughs> I must be missing him or something. Yeah. He might have a heart attack one day and I'll just be like, listen to that, Hans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I can use some of this stuff. Oh, the classic orange screwdriver. Everyone has one of these. Oh, you know what? I have some stuff in the basement for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what it is. I'll put this right here for now. Where'd you go? In the garage basement? No. No? Um, I'm just looking to see what these... It said Hudson Bay Crocs. Oh. On the outside of the box, and if it is. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Royal. What does that say? Royal Charter? Hudson yeah. Bay? Okay. I've got a guy coming by to look at all these bottles tomorrow. Okay. That's not what I was wanting to show you. Or give you. I should just say give you. There's a house you've never been to that had your stuff in it. Your future Josh stuff. Yeah, well. These are all forks and knives. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yes, I could make tons of stuff with that. Those light bulbs. People keep asking me when I'm going to start your project. Uh, well, maybe soon. Maybe you'll be losing stuff that came out of this house. I probably will. That's if there's spoons in here. If there's a box of spoons, I will set them aside specifically for your uh, for your thing. Will they become leaves? They will become leaves. Okay. Don't you hate it when you just drop stuff all over the place because you're filming with one hand? <laughs> anyway, cutlery, tools, and he also had a box of brand new nails. So those will come in handy for something. I think that we're just about full, unless there's some other things he had in mind. And maybe then I'll just give him a hand loading stuff into his own thing, if it's light enough. Do you need help bringing stuff out? Um, Patrick and I have almost successfully done a whole house. That's almost a record, Levi's. Special edition. Are those valuable? They can be. We've already got the holes in them, so. That's the look yeah, nowadays. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> when I was a little kid, I purposely put <laughs> holes in my knees because I thought it was so cool. Yep. And my mom would get so mad. And I got it from Alan Jackson. I'll be the bad guy. In the whatever, CMT or whatever yep. that show is. It's not called CMT, that's the station, but... I was like, dude, that guy's so cool with his mullet and his ripped jeans. And then I would just slide on gravel and stuff trying to get holes in my jeans. Wouldn't that hurt your legs? Yeah, but it was worth it for the style. <laughs> hey! yeah. Yeah, that's all, donation. all donation? Yeah. I can't uh, tip this back. Oh, here. You're in the way, son. Oh. Right. I'm just running over there, Josh. Yeah, there was an episode of Seinfeld where... 
was a guy they called Denim Vest. They called him Denim Vest? Oh, sorry. I moved those boxes to get to that wood. My bad. No worries. We invite you here out of the kindness of our heart. Can you do that to us? To make up for it, I'll bring this out. This is donation? Let me put this all the way in the back. Or I guess that would be the front. And uh, if you throw those in here, I'll uh, toss them back there as well. Ugh, filling up quick. <laughs> oh, wow. That's all for donation. Okay. I didn't know you were a plumber. <laughs> oh, that's a light one. I imagine that should not go on the bottom. Stick those on the bottom. These ones I keep in the cell because they're still sealed. Well, I can't sell puzzles if they're not sealed because you can't get a sealed piece of it. Right. What I would do is I would just mix a whole bunch of different puzzles together and say, mystery puzzle, if you solve it, or I don't know if it's solving, whoops, then you win a prize. Nice. Cleaning out underneath the stairs in the basement, and I forgot there's this nice, I think it's a Gendron. Uh, mm, these boxes are in the way. Lots of court sealers. Those are actually kind of difficult to come by nowadays. For people who are canning, we can donate, donate that one as well. It's nice to have a Josh here. I feel like you're what's missing in my life, Josh. Oh, that sounded weirder than I meant it to. <laughs> it is nice having Josh and Patrick here, though. Well, I'm glad. <sighs> Eaton's Bonnie Bray. Okay, well, it's Eaton's brand, but that is an awfully nice uh, baby carriage or pram. I'm going to bring this out. I mean, when was the last time they probably used this? Cool. Um, they either framed the door after, <coughs> or they had the door off when it went in there. Either way, it was not coming out very easy. Yeah, what the heck, right? Oh, not going to come out, yeah. Just, well, it might come out even with that one oh, off. Now we will. Mm, no, it's still no. too big on the bottom. It's probably why it's been down there for... Well, long. Mm, this basement looks like it was framed up in the 70s, judging by the uh, Italianette-style plaster all over the walls. Yeah. So I'm guessing it's probably been in there for quite a while. There's the door. Let's see. All right, you want to see if it'll come out? Hopefully we don't have to take off the... Oh, it's oh. not going to do it. No. Just Dang. I might no. have to take the trim off. Uh, can we turn it sideways on it? Mm. Josh is just going to... The trim's coming off pretty easy. Yeah, we'll take this. Nobody was gonna steal that stroller. <laughs> Imagine they're like, oh no. We got all this way. There we go. Oh, just uh, the water okay. wheel. Okay, let's try to do it sideways. I'll flip it back here. You can take those stuff off the, take the puzzles and the Yeah, we're gonna try flipping it sideways. Or when I say we, I mean they are. And I'm gonna point the camera at them. It almost looks like it'd be taller that way, but maybe it can go around yeah, the corner. If it's springy enough. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Spring it. Spring it. Nope, I don't think it's going to... Nope, there we go. Good idea. There's no way that's how they got that in there. <laughs> oh, this, uh... Oh, we don't want to rock that. Damn. Wait, is it stuck? Yeah, the... Oh. the bonnet part whatever it's called will it uh, flip down it doesn't it, close far enough what's worse is that i think josh is stuck now <laughs> yep sorry <laughs> wasn't there a movie like people under the stairs yeah there was actually that's josh now very very tense about this so i think what patrick figured out is that that uh the the bassinet part comes off of course i should have known i've seen them come apart before yeah. and that'll make this a whole lot easier to get out maybe maybe people probably in the comments were like you idiots <laughs>
They will, but for other reasons. Well, this back. Well, Josh, Probably considering easier. you don't have kids and you're not 100 years old, how would you know? Yeah, yeah also this thing's from like, what, the freaking 40s? Yeah, probably from the 50s. Look at that. Yay! Look how easy that was. There we go. We probably didn't even need to take off the door. I, yeah, I was gonna say, I might maybe check to see if that fits before we go. Uh, well, it'll fit out this door. Yeah. Okay. Let's put. It, I'm gonna wheel it into the garage. <laughs> when we got here, you had to pick a door to where you wanted to go because you could only move the stuff, stuff enough to get right. into one room at a time. Oh, where did I put the freaking pins? Oh, right here. <laughs> one little bit of there. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, Alex. It's back together. Thank you, Joshua. I've been to garage sales here many times. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were saying. Yeah, because I'm here, too. You okay. got that part in the video, Josh. Yeah, I got to beep that out. <laughs> I lived here for 35 years. Door back in. Hopefully everything that's left uh, will be easy enough to get out of here, which I think it's just boxes. Yes, it is just boxes. <laughs> start moving it over here so that it's easy to just take out a bunch of glass jars I think pint sealers glass lids okay uh Patrick all of these are the all of what Josh is ejecting from the I'm gonna get a dolly yeah maybe get a dolly <laughs> <laughs> they're like, man, they've been bringing a lot of good stuff. And then they open it up. There's a bunch of freaking old pickles. <laughs> old pickles are <laughs> probably alcoholic by now. <laughs> pickles. So this is just what we do, one little bit at a time, and everything is going to go. I have a guy coming tomorrow that's hoping to buy all of this. Uh, it's not glass, it's books. Got a good amount of stuff going to donation, and I've decided to keep some uh, some jars for canning. Called Ashley, and I was like, "Hey, do we can much?" And I guess we we canned a decent amount from our garden and made jams and stuff. So why the heck not? What about this Albert and Walter bear? Albert and Walter. Allen and Wright, I guess, would be the yeah. correct. It could be Albert and Walter if you want to be. If you like, if you like being incorrect. This is so cool. I didn't even know these existed. Or maybe I did, but yeah, people like them. I've never seen one. They put them like on cars and car shows and stuff. Oh yeah, because they always have car shows at A&W. Okay. Whoa, what about these? Or this. I mean, it's, it's quite the beard. Is this? What are you doing with this? I'm planning on selling it. That is so awesomely creepy. What if I find people who look like that? Look at the beard on like, that. Dude, this guy's beard is growing only on his throat. It's a neck beard. Oh, That's a neck beard. oh yeah, it is a neck beard, isn't it? I have the opposite. I'm shaving my neck. <laughs> you want to look good. Okay. All right. This one is definitely garbage. Patrick's, when I see something worth filming, then I usually stop and do a little. I've climbed on top of the mountain here. Remember before I used to be right up to the ceiling. Now there's a Josh with an NW bear. Just chilling. You thirsty, Josh? I have some mildly expired full Coca-Cola bottles here from the 90s. Should we try it? <laughs> no. Bob the Bottle Man tried one. I, I gave him, I was like being nice and I had one of these. And I was like, here, Bob, I know you collect bottles. Why don't you take that? And then he comes, he calls me. He's like, oh boy, uh, my stomach sure was acting up. I don't know. <laughs> There's something wrong with that Coke. I'm like, that was 30-year-old Coke. He's like, 
Yeah, yeah, well, I thought it still would be okay. I was, no. You should yeah. try it. No, I'm not going to try it because I saw what happened to Bob. And he had, uh, he had problems with his stomach. A.K.A. I think he spattered. <laughs> I, I think he painted the walls of his bathroom. <laughs> what's, so, in the, uh, what's in the cans? Which cans? What's the faces? Oh, those are... Uh, Roy Lichtenstein uh, Coca-Cola cans. And actually kind of collectible. They're worth, you know, I don't know, five, ten bucks a piece. And there's a, there's a tray of them. Back when uh, they had artists doing cans of Coke. Some really old bottles mixed in here too, like late 1800s, early 1900s bottles. I'm trying to get the, um, there's some paint and stuff that needs to go in the garbage and that's what I'm digging for right now. Huh. There. You should really, you should drink some of that. <laughs> Quit. Stop it. Okay, this Oh, it's a whole freaking flat. flat. This needs to go out with the other bottles. Oh in my, my gosh. God. You return to syrup. No, it's it return, return to, to botulism. <laughs> well, that's yeah. good. A lot of the time there's like floaties in one of them. Well, these look pristine. Mm -hmm. You're selling these? <laughs> yeah, I got a guy coming tomorrow. Perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> Josh is determined to drink one of those. <laughs> there's some more up there too. I can just sense that I'm going to can myself That's on this chair leg. So oh, not don't. Gonna be pretty. <laughs> I've had my children. <laughs> This looks like it's old stuff, but junky old stuff. Maybe. Do you know what you're doing with this heated blanket? Selling, donating? I'm giving it to my daughter. So it Keep goes me. in your truck, huh? I'll go put it in your truck. Uh, well, make sure it doesn't go in the back, otherwise I'll never see it again. Put it is on the front seat. In the front? Is it open? Yeah. Okay. You have a bunch of room. Do you want to put the, uh... Oh. you want to put the a &W guy with the bottle? Part of the Uh, sure. Of course, there's a hornet flying around there. Calling it a day, that's it? That's it. That's it. That's it. For today. For today. That's it for me, because I'm going home. <laughs> I'm actually not going home. So the final load for today, because you guys have already gone, right? Oh yeah, lots. Today? Uh, yeah, we've gone one well once today, and then the cu last couple of days we've been making three, four, five trips a day. Dang! So this will be another trip today, and then I got decided to keep some of the canning jars. Um, found some random scrap metal, and all the other stuff that I already showed. This actually isn't scrap metal; it's it's uh, pins and hooks and whatever. I forget what they're actually called. Those will come in handy for practical use or art use. So I just got to load all this up into here. Whoa. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. What a full day. Decent pull. Very happy with it. I am going to follow Alex to Red Deer because he invited me out for supper. But first, we drop off the stuff at the old donation center. Good calls? 
you sell something? No, that was the owner of the property, the oh. estate manager. Is he happy that it's oh. getting empty at least? Uh, well, not too big. Yeah, yeah. Probably. in a way. Well, he's there's... also kind of worried that we're going to be finding too much good stuff. Oh, well, well, he shouldn't have sold it then. No, no. It's, it's just the, it's, it's, it's like a common thing people like, you know. You yeah. Wait till he finds out that you gave away this. Uh, yeah, there's a bag of snow for the snow globe in here. Okay. This has been Patrick and mine's life this entire week, what we're doing right now. Yeah. This has been our whole life. Whoa. That box broke. That's a light one. He just walked. That's a light one. That's a light one. Wow. You acted like these were so heavy, Pat. <laughs> Look at that one's heavy. And these people had a lot of apples. I I just started to hate the apple boxes after a while because we grabbed the Say about your noggin. He said, dude, I have no idea what it is. I'm gonna get you to see my call. But I found out I have scoliosis. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, I got scoliosis. But it's just minor. We had an x-ray done just so we were gonna start figuring out if it's related to my like spinal. Oh. Uh whatever cord I guess. And so first thing is an x-ray, and they're like, oh, you got scoliosis. And so that's unrelated, but uh, kind of interesting, I guess. Wait, that's a GWG denim vest. That's valuable? Well, GWG is somewhat collectible, but none of the, none of the thing else is here, so. We'll keep that. No. I have so much stuff, I... I <laughs> one vest. One vest is not going to... One vest. That's the one that people are going to pay 500 no, bucks for. For people to find the new too. On behalf of the Denim Vest Society, we are offended by a lack of... Yeah, this is somebody. Yeah. Watch, he's going to do one of those thrift store finds videos. He's like, oh, look at this vest. <laughs> yeah, I'll, wait, uh, I'll come back here. Okay, that's the last box. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. No worries. Hopefully that'll be our last trip to uh, Terry this week. Who's the place you want to go to Toronto? No, I don't want to go to... I don't want another big fancy meal. Why? Because oh, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll we find had, it. We had a, a... We had a big lunch. Oh. Um... Let's find something. Okay, follow me. I'm gonna head back down that road. We're gonna go down this alley, turn left, and come back around. We'll find something along the way. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for helping out, Jake. Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs>